Welcome to uh, Night Network to Dave Stewart. Hey, Watch you. out. You all right? Yeah, pretty good. Good. Where was that video done? That was done in um, Paris. And uh, <clears throat> it was done about 8 o'clock, started about 8 o'clock in the morning. Don't think Annie was feeling too well at the beginning of it, but... She looks brilliant in that. Yeah. Though. I think she, you get the impression that she could go on and sort of, like, do acting and uh, really do well in that. Oh, she definitely could, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're here really to talk about uh, this record label you've set up, Anxious Records. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's it all about? For, for new bands or for kind of established acts? Well, you see, over the last six years, through, you know, playing live and generally being a band, I got about 10,000 cassettes or something of people, mm -hmm. you know, backstage, in the street, everywhere. And at first I didn't know what to do, though, I was just to play them. For ages I never listened to any radio or records because I had so many people's demos to listen to. And then, um, about two years ago, I thought, well, some of them were really good. And so I formed this little company called Anxious and I started, you know, putting some bands in the studio because uh, Annie and I, with uh, the first lot of money we ever received from Eurythmics, we bought this church and in it we started building studios. And now, we, you know, it's, it's got five altogether. It's got like an eight track, a 16 track, a 24 track that's in a real sort of funky room mm -hmm. and then it's got, you know, a better 24 track and then a master room. This must have cost a few bob then, I to, yeah. to set up. A bloody fortune, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm still paying for it now. But uh, it's now full of these bands, you know, which started off about two years ago, them just writing songs and rehearsing in there. And Annie and I kept using it as well, so it was a great communal thing, you know, where bands... So they all, you all mix together? Yeah. All the bands have a go together? Yeah, like on Friday Night Live, you know, one of the bands was playing with us live. Mm -hmm. on, uh, when we did I Need a Man, that was a band called Rebel Angels that are on Anxious. And, uh, and the drummer, well, actually, actually, I better not give this away. Our female, oh, our female drummer, um, who happened to be a guy called Ulla from Sweden, who since has had several phone calls saying to our management company, saying, oh, that female drummer's amazing, can we use her on a session? But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, they all sort of hang around the church and they all play and record, and so they play with us and we play on things of theirs. And, uh, and it's just a great atmosphere, and it's, it's like turned into sort of this mini kind of village. Well, so so you, you've actually been out looking at these bands. Mm. The, the, how important then is, is the Eurythmics now, as opposed to this new, the anxious oh, yeah. setup? It, see, it's a completely separate thing, uh, and you couldn't really say that one's more important than the other. It's just that it's so uh, integrated, the way that Eurythmics works and always has worked, of changing, you know, the people that play with us all the time that it's kind of another evolvement of that. And so for Annie and I, it's really great, actually, because instead of being, you know, mega-rich rock stars that are living, you know, the life of the superfluous, we're, you know, always in the church and knocking around with these other bands that haven't even made a record yet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's just a great feeling, you know. Has this, this thing kind of put the, uh, an edge back into what you're doing? Because, you know, it got, like back at the beginning of the Eurythmics, you know, is it going to work? Can we, can we make money oh, out yeah, of this? Oh, totally. I don't know about can we make money out of this, I very much doubt it at this stage, but um, it's more just, you know, you want to see those bands do well, because I believe in uh, a lot of the, the stuff that they do and the songs that they write. I mean, you see, at the moment, the music industry, particularly in Britain, is just sickening to me. It's just obsessed with this factory floor, you know, toss out the soap stars, get them to sing, if they can sing a bit, you know, mm -hmm. write a song or write it, try and make a hit. And it's just... Uh, I just, I mean, I can't, I can understand it because it's total British, you know, media mentality, yeah. but um, it's got nothing to do with uh, music as I knew it when you wanted to make a record that your mum and dad would hate, you know. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of, having this record label is a bit of a reaction against that too. Now all, the, mum, the mum and dads are going out and buying them. Yeah, I mean, I just can't, I mean, for me, it's just, as soon as I hear a record like that start on the radio, I have to switch it off because I feel nauseous, you know. So you rate, obviously rate some of these bands then? Oh, yeah. well, you've got this mega ghetto blast here, which I, I suppose you, you cart around all over the shop. Yeah. Have you got anything you can perhaps give us a quick uh, blast of? Well, you just sprung that on me just before, so I didn't really have all my tapes, mm -hmm. but there's bits of things. Um, this is London. <laughs> Oops. See, this is a Japanese... Uh, it's all written in Japanese, yeah. I can't understand a word. You Where does it say start? <laughs> this is start. Oh, hey, really? hey, not hot. <laughs> So 
these these are what? These are three London lads? Uh, four guys. They're not all from London, actually, but they're called London Beat. Um, you see, when I sign up uh, acts on Anxious Records, they have to have certain qualities that um, I think is missing a lot of the time in, you know, British pop mm -hmm. music, which is uh, I like it when bands write all their own songs and uh, they're totally passionate about what they do and they'd actually, you know, be making it in the garage, in the bedroom, anywhere to get on rather than, you know, sort of going to the right clubs to be seen and then get a record deal. Have you heard anything from, from these bands that, that you think, oh, this would be good for us to do, for the Eurythmics to do? Um, yeah, sometimes. And you've, you're also talking of Eurythmics, you're doing a, an album of cover versions. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Which is, but why is that? I mean, you've got fed up writing your own stuff. Well, we've written, you know, we've done seven albums of our own songs in the last five or six years. And there's lots of other people's songs that we, we really like. And um, we just thought, and also it's that thing of having fun as well, spontaneous kind of fun. And, and we thought we'd just make an album of those. So we just started yesterday with a song. Um, I hope <laughs> Morrissey doesn't know this yet, but we, we did a song called Last Night um, I Dreamt Somebody Loved Me mm -hmm. from the Smiths album. Are these kind of uh, numbers that you, you really like getting up on stage doing? That number would be, yeah. yeah. I mean, they've written some brilliant songs. Because you're, you're kind of a married man now. Is this, is it, has it slowed you all down now? Are you at home now for Sunday lunch and, you know, watching Crossroads of a Night Zone? Or well, Coronation <laughs> Street, whatever it was. Brookside, actually. Yeah? But, um, well, you know, the two of us aren't really a typical uh, married couple, I don't suppose, so we just do what we were doing before. Mm -hmm. Good fun, though. Very good fun, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, it's a great songwriter, though. And on Anxious Records. On Anxious Records. Brilliant. Well, good luck with all that. Thanks a lot for coming in, being our first guest on uh, Mick Brown TV and on Night Network. And um, come back again when all these lot are in the, uh, the network chart. OK. Making loads of money, I should think. <laughs> right, still to come tonight uh, on uh, MBTV, we have uh, Alice Cooper.